Hello and welcome to my e-lesson and in this video I will tell you how you can create a mark sheet in Excel. See I have created this mark sheet it has the students name Rambo, Muni, Sheila, Rocky, Munna, Donald Duck and Wolverine and here are their roll numbers. They are all in class 10th and the section is A. <laughs> the names are amazing. Huh? So these are their marks maths, English, Hindi, history, geography, social science. The marks are listed over here. If you see, I have uh, implanted a condition wherein if the marks are below 33, then they will show in red. Okay, so Rambo is almost failing. Huh? He's actually failed. And now you can see the total marks, which is a sum of this. And you can see the actual percentage, which I've calculated by making a total of this and dividing it by the maximum marks that could have been achieved. All right. Here I have used a past fail criteria. Here I have also given a grade also, all right? So everybody has a different grade C. This person has failed, we have, Muni is having a D grade. Sheila is C, Rocky is B, okay, good. And Donald Duck, he's A grade. So I'll tell you how you can do this yourself, okay? So it's very, very easy to do this. So I'm going to copy this data to my second sheet and we'll remove the formulas from there. All right, so let's go to sheet number two and paste this data over there. And now I'm removing these formulas. Also, what I'm doing is I'm removing the conditional formatting. So I'm selecting this area, going to conditional formatting and going to clear rules, clear rules from selected cells. All right, so now this is the base data that we have. Uh, one more thing, we need to copy this also, right? So that you know that this video has been made by my e-lesson. So we have to do our own publicity nowadays. <laughs> by the way, you can go to myelesson.org and download this file, okay? So you can do that. So now, first of all, let's set the first condition that if somebody gets marks less than 33, they should be shown in a red color so you know okay which subject this person has failed in so for that we go we select this data go to highlight cells go to less than and here type 33 and from here choose light red fill with dark test okay so anybody with 33 marks less than 33 sorry will automatically show in red see anybody whom I make 32 or even less than that say 12 marks anything less than 32 33, sorry, will be in red. And now to calculate the total marks, what did I do? I used a simple sum formula. Very simple. I will type in is equal to sum, all right? And I will select this area. Press enter. My total is done. I will copy this down. So now I know how many total marks did each student get. So Rambo got these many marks. Muni got 390 marks. Now let's calculate the percentage. Now we all know that these are the total marks out of 100. Earlier we did not know. Now we know. <laughs> okay. So we know the maximum marks could be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So to calculate the percentage, we will divide total marks by the maximum marks that could have been achieved. So is equal to this cell divided by 600. Right? Divided by 600 and we get 31 percent if this was since this is already formatted as a percentage it is showing as a percentage else you can go over here and convert it into percentage and i'm copying it now very simple see donald duck is getting 99 percent now we need to give a formula for pass or fail very simple is equal to if logical test would be this percentage if this is greater than equal to 33%, all right? Okay, I did not type in greater than. If this cell is greater than or equal to 33%, okay, then the value if true should be pass. And if it is not true, then it should be fail. And then I close the bracket and I get my answer. I can copy it down. See, anybody 
whose marks are more than 33% or equal to 33% is pass and anybody below 33% is fail see and now I can give them a grade also now grade I've used the same if function over here see I will go to edit option by pressing F2 see I have chosen the condition 90% for A 80% for B 70% for C and 33% for D and below that it should be F fail simple so we will copy the same condition over here also is equal to if 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 this percentage is greater than equal to 90% then comma then it should be say a grade now the important thing is I need to use the second if formula so I'll simply type in comma and start the second if formula if bracket open again this cell is greater than equal to 80 percent all right then the grade should be B comma I will start my if formula again all right so this is how it will work I'm going to copy this formula over here for you so that we can save time but you get the idea correct and we get the grades this is what I did so this is how you can make a mark sheet in Excel which will show the student name their roll numbers their class and their marks also if they are failing in any specific subject their total marks their percentage their pass fail status and their grade isn't it easy easy and then you can add a filter to it and you can select show me only children with fail status show me children only with say uh, sorry let me select all and show me children only with D status see you can do all that isn't it easy well yes it is well you can go to my lesson.org to download this file for free and in case you have any comments you can type them over here and I'll answer them for you and if you like this video please click on the like button and do do subscribe to the channel please do subscribe to the channel it will keep me motivated and you will also be made aware whenever I up, uh, upload a new video all right so hope you like this video see you in the next video